first, if you can just tell us about the film in your own words and um, what inspired you to uh, be a part of this project. Uh, the film is uh, Miles Davis, Birth of the Cool, and it's a biography of Miles Davis. Um, it's the first uh, really extensive biography that's been done on Miles Davis. Um, and we use uh, Miles Davis in his own words to, to tell a lot of the story by using uh, his autobiography and having an actor read from his autobiography. Um, the film was done with the complete cooperation of Miles' family and Sony Music. Well, um, actually, Stanley Nelson, the director, approached me about two years ago, um, saying he has a big project coming in and he really wanted me to work on it based on um, my past experience in music documentaries as well as um, we had a really good working relationship from the Black Panthers, Vanguard of the Revolution. So um, when I heard it was Miles, of course, being a fan, I said, uh, absolutely, I would love to work on it. It was a really big challenge for me, um, but I'm so glad that I took it on and we were able to come, with, come out with uh, something that's really special. Making this documentary about someone who is no longer with us, what were some of the challenges that you faced in making this documentary and, and doing it justice for such a iconic musician and how do you feel like you faced those challenges? I mean there were so many challenges. I think that, um, you know, not to overshadow um, Miles's uh, uh, personal and not to have Miles's personal life overshadow the music, not to have the music overshadow the personal life. Um, how do you, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of a lot more footage of Miles later on in his life. Uh, so how do you tell the story of his early life where there's stills but there's not much footage? Um, how do you make uh, give the music, you know, uh, it's a music film. So how do you let enough music play but still, you know, not take you out of the story? You know, all of those things I think. Uh, were really important for us. Some of the biggest challenges was that, um, for one, Miles had such a long career. Though he died at about 64, 65, he squeezed in a lot of a lot of playing into those years, and so he changed music um, five or six times. And because of that, he played with a lot of people. And so there were hundreds of people that we could have interviewed that we kind of whittled down the list to maybe a key 45. And that was kind of based on phone interviews I did with I did a over a hundred phone interviews um, with people and we kind of decided who would be the best ones to kind of move a narrative forward. Um, so that was the biggest challenge is kind of to narrow that list down. Um, and then he was so prolific because he was so prolific. He was a very photographed man. So we had a huge amount of archival materials to go through. Um, but there were heavier on one, like for instance, for footage, but there were much more in the later years, but very little in the early years. So the, the balancing that challenge and having something that could kind of take him through his life in the film, that was a that was something that I think we rose to. In in recruiting the members, like how did you choose members of your team and were they all fans of Miles Davis and you yourself? Like how did that come together? Yeah, I mean the, the only person um, on the team that I, I knew was a Miles Davis fan was Lewis Erskine, the, the senior editor. Um, and we had worked, we've worked together on a number of films. We hadn't worked together in a couple of years, but I really wanted him to edit this film because I, I felt like he uh, understood uh, Miles, he understood uh, jazz, and he would be great. And, and his meticulousness uh, would really just help the film. The other people, you know, I chose basically uh, because of their skills. Uh, they didn't have to be Miles fans. They just had to be open to uh, to learning about Miles. For you, in your own words, what do you think makes Miles Davis such an iconic uh, musician. Um, like I said, he, he was able to change. There's perhaps been only two or three other artists in history that have done that. Um, you have a Bob Dylan and there's probably Miles Davis that have kind of taken, started in one genre and really pushed the envelope and moved everything forward and had to have everyone try to kind of catch up to where he already was. And so uh, because of that, I think that's why he's so iconic for many people. Did you learn yourself anything new about Miles Davis that you didn't know before or um, do you feel like audiences will learn a lot more about Miles Davis that they wouldn't find, you know, typically on just Googling him. I mean, one of the tricks for us in making the film was that there's some people who, who know a lot about Miles, you know, love Miles, know a lot about him. There's some people who don't know anything about Miles, you know. And so we had to make a film that would uh, satisfy both. And I think we've done that. Uh, for people who know a lot about Miles, there's a lot that they don't know, you know. There's a lot of pictures that they haven't seen, a lot of footage they haven't seen, a lot of music they probably haven't heard. Uh, uh, so there, there's the, all of those things. Um, but I think, you know, one of the things that I learned was 
uh, as someone says, you know, that, that Miles didn't, he didn't rehearse his groups. They didn't rehearse. He told them he didn't want to rehearse. He told them that he wanted them to rehearse on the bandstand in front of people and, and make mistakes. And that's how he wanted his music to live. And uh, that's what he did, and that's what he did throughout his career. I think uh, the message of the film would be to, to never stay stagnant, to always be changing. Um, he always challenged himself. He always wanted to be moving forward. And I think that's something that we can all take away from the film. It's like, because you've been successful in one area, that's no reason to kind of to stay in that rut. You can always push forward and, and try something new.